Hi, I'm Abe Peck. I'm the editor at large of Inside Unmanned Systems, and we have Alex Skolnick of Liquid Piston and several of his uh, toys, uh, toys. We, we, which our joke was Toys R Us is closed, but with but uh, Liquid Piston in Connecticut, right? Yes, sir. Is, is open. So, uh, first of all, congratulations on the contract. Why don't you explain what we're talking about? Yeah, thank you very much. So, um, we, we, we're a developer of advanced power solutions. It's based on a new, improved thermodynamic cycle. Um, and this is a new kind of rotary engine called the X engine. So we started working with the DOD actually in 2016. Um, we, we did some work with DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, and also with the Army. And that has built, led to kind of increasing interest from the Army. And um, you know, there's a big push right now for, um, I guess, more capability from a smaller package. Right. They're, they're looking to take the, the Group 3 Shadow UAV and bring that, uh, kind of make it smaller, lighter, more nimble, and, and give it vertical takeoff capability. So um, we're, we're working now with the Army on a new $9 million contract to develop this 25 horsepower heavy fuel variant of our right. engine. And that's with DEFCOM ARL originally, Army yes. Research Lab? Yep. And, uh, and um, so how do these differ, each of these? these yeah, so um, this is the X-Mini, and this is our probably our most advanced prototype. Um, this is uh, at a technology readiness level of six, and so if, if you go to our website, you'll actually see the engine flying uh -huh. in a uh -huh. parallel hybrid configuration. The really cool thing about this is it, it runs on heavy fuel, so it's configured to run on jet fuel or, or other fuels. We've run it on gasoline, we've run it on kerosene, oh, really? even uh, uh, propane and hydrogen. Um, so this was configured as a parallel electric hybrid, and uh, we could actually shut the engine off mid-flight, and we could switch over to electric cruise, wow, kind of a uh, quiet cruise, and then restart the engine on jet fuel mid-flight. That's pretty versatile. Yes. No. So th this is a four-stroke, naturally aspirated, air-cooled variant of the engine. And this, the, the new one here called the XTS-210, this is a liquid-cooled, uh, two-stroke, supercharged variant. Uh -huh. And so this is our first time doing a two-stroke version of the engine. It's boosted, and it can do you know altitude uh -huh. compensation. And I, I guess maybe let me just mention on, oh, the, uh, on, on the four-stroke. So one of the, the really nice things about the rotary you know, there, there's just two moving parts, right? This rotor and shaft, and yet it behaves like a three-cylinder oh, wow. uh -huh. engine, right? So very few parts, it's very simple, elegant design. And every time this part of the rotor comes over, it you get a combustion event. So you get three combustion events for every revolution of the rotor. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. On the two-stroke, both sides of the rotor are performing combustion. So now we end up with six combustion events for each revolution of the rotor. Oh wow, well, that's great. And, um, the um, so you you kind of extol the virtues of heavy fuel. Can you go into those a bit? On on heavy fuel? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean the 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 military, the army, they, they have a uh, a mandate to try to run everything on, on heavy fuel um, for logistical purposes. You know, about half of that, our cash trucks are running on it. So what's that? The trucks are running on yes, it. Yes. Yes. Right. And and. Um, you know, jet fuel is the predominant fuel, and so they, they're trying to make everything run on JPA fuel. Um, about half of our casualties in recent conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan were supporting fuel and water logistics. Wow. So you imagine these convoys wow. that are going around, they just make a really great target. Of course. And that's right. just, that's being reiterated now in the Ukraine conflict. So today's UAVs, unfortunately, between five and 100 horsepower, they really don't have good heavy fuel engine solutions. So this is a, a, a white space that we're uh -huh. hoping to address. You know, um, so it would be a small and medium UAS. Yes, uh, group and, two and group three. Yeah, right. And um, and you, so you've been doing R&D for 15 years? In yes, uh -huh. yeah. So the, the company is based on a new optimized thermodynamic cycle called the high efficiency hybrid cycle. So we, we've really been in pursuit of that cycle the first idea was a liquid piston engine, uh -huh, and that's why they right, the company. The name, right. um, so this is actually our fourth, you know, Iteration. completely different uh -huh. engine architecture uh -huh. in pursuit of that cycle. Oh, well, great! And uh, and you're Connecticut. Yeah. We're located in Connecticut. Yeah. Um, you know, I should comment we're, we're a technology company, so we have 84 patents on the technology. Nice. Uh -huh. And you know, we're we're, um, we're in late stages of development now. We're, we're going to deliver. Uh, 
advanced prototypes to the Army uh, late next year. So this is being delivered next, this one you have This one on. will be delivered next year uh -huh. to the Army and you know fairly well qualified so it, it should be ready to bolt in to right. an aircraft and, and uh, to fly. Uh -huh. And are, the, are either of these operable now? Yes, so this one is flying yeah. uh -huh. now. Right. It's not commercially available but but it is uh, in the stage uh -huh. where, where it's, it's, it's flying. Uh -huh. So you're really uh, on the verge of a lot of good things, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So if, um, so it looks like you stayed in class at MIT and paid some attention. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did, um, uh, so if people want to know more, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Yeah, go to our website, liquipiston.com. Uh, we're, we're reachable also. Uh, just send us an email. Great. Par partners at liquipiston.com. Uh-huh. And anything you want to add? No, I mean, um, you know, we think that the, the market is very overdue for uh, a disruptive innovation, right? It's been over 100 years since the engine has really changed in a in a marked way. They almost got it with the Wankel rotary engine back <laughs> in the 60s and 70s. Right. You know, the, the Army Shadow UAV is flying the Wankel, but that engine, it, it, it never quite commercially made it. It had a lot of flaws. And by turning it inside out, which is kind of what we did here, we, we solved the challenges that the old rotaries have had while preserving its advantages of power to weight and efficiency. Great. Well, good luck with it. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, man. Thanks for coming over. Appreciate it.